Hello and welcome back to Simply Greg Surrey V. You join us in Banbury. We're about 20 miles north of Oxford here in the UK and we are at a 32 stall Instavolt charging site right off M40. Let's get the uh, Jeep Avenger plugged in. This will be a first real DC fast charging session with the Avenger EV. We have already done one already, but it was absolutely terrible. So we'll get plugged in here. We'll give you a site tour because this is a really cool site. There's 32 DC fast chargers with varying equipment providers here. It's, it's quite the, the mix of charging equipment. So we'll get this plugged in and I'll give you that site tour. So we've been driving the Avenger EV, as you know, for the last few days. Let's get this session started here at Instavolt. We've used them before. We've used them in Iceland and I've used them here in the UK. We'll get the CCS2 plugged in. Let's see here. Please tap or insert card. Let's card acquisition. Let's see how this works. Oh, please. <laughs> it didn't work. Let's do this in here, see if it actually works. Because a lot of places say they take American Express, but then it doesn't work on the payment terminal. That uh, 45 pound authorization, that's quite a lot. We'll just turn this away while I insert my pin. There we go. Pin is entered. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, quite the mix of uh, charging equipment. We'll go walk over in a second. That's been approved. Max power, 120 kilowatts, CCS. We'll do CCS. Let's get this unplugged. We'll come over here. We'll try to get this plugged in. I tried to do it with one hand, but uh, I couldn't do that. My hand is still stitched up. Let's see how long this takes to communicate. So we are plugged in, it's speaking. There we go, it just locked, clicked. Let's see what uh, type of speed we get. We're at 41% state of charge now. So we finally communicated with the Avenger. The Avenger talked to this, they did their handshake. We're pulling 63 kilowatts, 85 pence per kilowatt hour. That's about average pricing here for um, DC fast charging in the UK. Tesla supercharger is going to be a lot cheaper. We've, been, we've actually been charging up at our uh, cottage for a lot cheaper than uh, that. So based on my previous ex experience here last year and last May, DC fast charging in the UK is quite expensive. Tesla supercharger, as I've mentioned, is going to be a lot cheaper, around 50 pence per kilowatt hour, probably 60 pence. Here it's 85 pence and I've seen as high as 90 and 95 pence at uh, Shell per kilowatt hour. We're pulling 75 kilowatts now. We'll get out of here at 80%. Let's go give you that uh, site tour because it's pretty cool here. This whole row over here and across there's a, a e-course uh, charging. As I said, I don't like filming people. These are all BYD chargers here. So build your own dreams. This is kind of the backbone of the Instavolt network are the uh, BYD chargers. Then over here you have Alpitronic. We'll go check that out when we go to the other side. There's some pretty cool cars charging there. And Nissan Leaf has just plugged in as well. And you have the E-Corsa. So all of these here, these are all Alpitronics. I wanted to plug in here to make Mr. Brandon Flash happy, but uh, I decided to go with the uh, BYD. There's a lot of cool, interesting cars here. We have the uh, E208. We have the Skoda Enyaq. We have the Mini Cooper charging as well. These are all charge point equipment. We're familiar with charge point from back home. Unavailable, just like back at home, it, not working. These will do 125 kilowatt DC shared. I know those Alpitronics will do, I believe 150, 150 is the maximum on these ones. Again, these are split as well. These will do Chatamo and CCS2. These ones I do believe are 150. I've used these before, but very cool site here. There's the E208 charging. The E208 charging up here. You have the Mercedes, the EQC. You have an ID4 charging as well. 32 posts here. There's also a Costa. There's a Costa. This is a Premier Inn. 
and we're right off the M40, which is pretty cool. ID4 charging up here, and you have an e Corsa. Let's go check on the Jeep, see how she's doing. She's been good so far. I enjoy driving it. It's actually really nice to drive. We're at 53% state of charge. We've already added 27 miles. We've been charging for, she doesn't say how long we've been charging for, but we're already up at six pounds. And now we're starting to uh, taper down. So as I said, uh, DC fast charging in uh, Great Britain is uh, not is not cheap. It is not cheap unless you're using a, a Tesla supercharger. Again, we'll just give you the scale of this site. You have the BYD dispensers here. You have the Alpitronic and you have the uh, charge point equipment. I'm a big fan of Alpitronic. I'd like to see all of this Alpitronic, but I believe these BYD units are uh, quite good as well. Charge point, uh, it's a bit flaky in my experience. But yes, this is a very big site. This is probably one of the biggest sites I visited ever in the UK. This place is massive. And as I said, you have a Costa Coffee. We'll try to zoom in. You have a Costa Coffee there. There's a Premier in over here and the M40 is just over there. But very cool site. Very, very cool site. This is great to see. This is how uh, a lot of places should be. If you're watching from the United States or Canada, this is uh, what you need to do is uh, sites like this. Let's go have a look at the power equipment, see if we can see anything different compared to um, what it is back home. Just get the camera flipped around. We'll go over to this side. This is all the power equipment up in here, I would assume. Can't really get in there. And I guess this is a transformer of some sort. Yeah, this is a transformer, says National Grid. No real tags on it whatsoever. Nothing here. I don't know anything about um, the grid in the UK, so if someone wants to please tell me. But just the the EV diversity here is crazy. Like, look what you have. You have the 500 uh, Arbarf, you have the ID3, and you have our Jeep. It's uh, pretty crazy. Let's check out uh, where we're where we're at now. So we've tapered down here to 72% state of charge. We're tapering down to 44 kilowatts. This will give me a rough idea of what to expect from this DC fast charging on our upcoming road trip. We still have about um, six more hours of uh, driving to do well. Further north on Friday, we're heading up towards the uh, Scottish border. So this will give me a good idea of what the charging curve is like on uh, this Avenger EV, roughly what I thought it was going to be, very similar to what my Fiat is. I believe the, the drive motor and battery are very similar to uh, what the uh, Fiat is. Okay, let's get this session done and out of here. I wanna go back to our cottage. You gotta insert your card to uh, stop the session. That is stopped. Let's get this unplugged. Phoenix Contact, I like these cables. These are really good cables, I find anyways. How much did that cost? So we did, 20 pounds and 53 cents. We did uh, 89 miles added. So start time, 411. We left at 436, we got to 82% state of charge. Like I said, DC fast charging here is not cheap. Let's get unplugged and the cable back into its hole. There we go, diversity. We have the 500 there. Let's get the charge port closed back up and let's get out of here. Well, there you have it. Uh, pretty cool charging site here in uh, Banbury. As I said, we're about 20 miles north of Oxford. Next to the M40, this is uh, our real first DC fast charging session here with the um, Avenger EV. And uh, we'll be bringing you the road trip as well as we travel further up north towards the uh, Scottish border. We're still in England for the next few days. And again, I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. We try to bring you some great content from our travels and uh, we'll see you in the uh, next video. Let's just see the interesting stuff we have while uh, driving away. There's some really interesting cars here, that's for sure. So much EV diversity. I don't know how well I'll, I'll pick this up, but uh, really, really, really cool site here. And there's some really cool cars, not just the Teslas and the Polestars. Well, there is one Polestar. There's a Mini like ours with a green roof. There's an E208, EQC, another ENIAC. Very cool stuff here at the site. I love seeing it.